Hello everyone and welcome back to uh, our little channel here. Uh, you may have noticed that uh, we haven't uploaded a scum video in, in quite some time. About three weeks, almost a month. And um, you know, that's because I'm just not enjoying scum anymore. Uh, I hate to say it, but uh, the devs aren't listening to us. Uh, those of us uh, in the PvE community who, uh, who aren't really uh, super focused on PvP and base rating and stuff like that. And um and honestly, even those guys are not happy with the with the state of scum right now. So um yeah, I have a rule uh with my channel, and that is if I don't enjoy a game, I'm not gonna cover it. I'm not gonna make videos of it. Uh because if I have to force myself to play it, uh I'm just, just I'm not gonna enjoy it and it's gonna show. It's gonna show in my content. I'm not gonna be able to make good, interesting, exciting, fun videos. Um, and that's kind of a no-brainer, really. Uh, I'm not going to cover games that I, I don't enjoy playing, I don't find fun, uh, which is why I don't cover buzz games like Helldivers and, and Call of Duty and stuff like that. Yeah, those are big, popular, high-click traffic video games, but I don't care about them. You know, it's not to say they're bad. I'm sure, they're great games, but they're not my kind of games. I don't enjoy those kind of games, so I don't play them, and uh, I don't host them on the channel. Uh, I've got a little bit of a principle when it comes to that sort of thing. If I'm, if I'm not interested in it, interested in it, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna force it on you guys. I'm not gonna, uh, just not gonna play it. And um, that's kind of where I'm at with scum, you guys. And um, I'll tell you why. A lot of you already know. Um, it, it's the puppets. The puppets are terrible. I mean, here I am. I've got the. Um, I'll show it to you. I've got a setting on. Oh, actually, it's here. I've got a setting on that shows me the zombie locations, the puppet locations, just to kind of show you how the puppets are working right now. Now, as you can see, I'm standing here outside of town, and there's no puppets, uh, which is kind of lame. The town looks dead. It looks empty. Easy pickings. I'm just going to run through here and loot everything that I want. But, oh, lo and behold, the puppets have begun to spawn around me. Now, that was actually pretty good. That was actually pretty good. And uh, just to show you, I've got my uh, puppet spawning at base, regular. Uh, and that's how close they spawn. And that's how frequently they spawn. Uh, when you just have it vanilla, how the, develop the developers uh, basically give it to you out of the box. This is how the puppets spawn. Um, which is... Eh. Where are they? There's two puppets there. Now you only know they're there because I've got those weird orange god rays kind of shining on them so that's the only reason that you even know those are there i typically would not have any idea that those puppets are oh look there's three now interesting so scum has started spawning puppets in a radius around the player and more more or less out of sight you're not supposed to see them spawn in it uh you imagine a cone in front of the player um it's probably a similar system to how games like this render render the game uh everything behind me will render out when i turn around it'll render in and it does that quickly you don't typically notice it uh some games are are worse than others when it comes to that sort of thing so but yeah that's how it spawns the puppets um the only problem is, is it does it way too close and see so we got a puppet in here it's interesting they don't typically spawn in buildings i think they've done some tweaking <laughs> Since I last played, I am noticing the puppet spawns are a little bit further away, but uh, they're still too they're still too close. I shouldn't be in the town. Yeah, yeah, this shouldn't happen. Do you see that how close that was? Uh, it's particularly bad in these locations. Um, any kind of POI, any police station, military bunker. Um, I would direct you to Luthias and. Uh, and War Dogs, Casual War Dogs channels, particularly Luthias, he's been all over this issue. Uh, down in the bunkers, these guys, they constantly spawn in front of you, two feet away, you know, right in your face. I just wanted to kind of show you the PD real quick, and but this is no good. Uh, this is fundamentally flawed. This is not a good way to uh, to spawn enemies in a survival game like this. It's cheap, It's an, it just kills the immersion, it's no fun. We don't want it. We've told the devs over and over and over again. People are leaving this game in droves. 
Um, those of you who follow Lathias' channel or Casual War Dogs channel, you'll know they've recently done videos about the Chinese overinflated server uh, issue that's going on right now. Basically, there's a bunch of more or less fake servers right now that are propping up Scum's metrics, uh, giving you the impression that the game is doing much better than it is, uh, when in reality, it's not the case. Um, a lot of us veteran players that have been around for a while, been with Scum for years, have thousands of hours. I myself have about 2,000 hours between uh, this character and my regular character uh, accounts, rather, Steam accounts. Uh, we're, we're leaving the game. We're not... Uh, this isn't what we signed up for. This this is not this is pretty bad. Um <laughs> there's either there's just no puppets or they're spawning right in front of you. So yeah. Um let me just kind of spice things up a little bit just so you can kind of see what I'm uh what I'm talking about here. Uh let's go back into here. Let's go to in fact it's this menu. Let's go back to that NPC menu. So this is Encounter based character amount multiplier. This basically just tells the game uh, how many puppets to spawn kind of with that system that we just saw. So let's turn this up to let's see in the old days. I used to be able to turn this up to five, right? Five times. And that was uh, pretty good, pretty realistic, challenging, fun uh, based on the way they used to spawn. But now. Now it's it's just weird. It does weird jank stuff. Um, so what will happen now is I will clear an area. See, I've just, I've just cleared that PD, right? And now they're, the puppets are already back. But this is what happens now. You, you go into a town. Of course, you don't see anything. There's nothing here. Because they just spawn around you in a circle. But you go into a town. You clear it. You walk away. Turn your back. And they're, they're already spawning. They're already spawning back in behind you. It's pretty bad. <laughs> There's this guy. Let me see if I can clear an area and just show you how that... Oh, he forgot what life is. Got one here. Okay. Here we go with the PD again. How about we'll just clear this corner of the map out? Otherwise, look, they spawned on top of each other. Ugh. It's no good. Just clear this corner out. I don't want to edit any of this. I want you guys to see it all. Okay. Clear. Not clear. You see what I'm saying? This is this is not good. We don't want this. I've literally just killed a puppet in here. Literally just killed a puppet. There he is. There's another one. That's um that's that's crap. That's absolutely crap. I only went but actually I wasn't even out of the town. I was next to that house. Turned around, bam, they're back. Uh that's no good. It's, it's no good. Uh, the PDs are particularly bad. The PDs are really bad. They'll... I've... Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to replicate it this time. But a lot of times, you'll be standing here, and they'll just spawn right here along these cobbles. They'll just spawn in all around you. The PDs are really bad. You gotta watch it. Uh, they can literally spawn on you while you're inside the building. And this system is just no good for a survival game. We what? Here's what we want, scum devs. Okay. We want to come up to a town, approach a town from, say, 100, 200 yards out, maybe more, and look over there and say, oh, okay, that looks clear. There's nothing there. Now, there might be something there in between the buildings, but by and large, you're going to know that there's not a hundred puppets in this town by, by observing it from a distance. 
We don't want to walk into the town and then have a plethora of enemies spawn in a circle all around us. We don't want that. And I'm going to try really hard not to turn this into an incoherent ramble, but, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of how I feel. I feel like I'm just talking to a wall. A lot of us feel like we're talking to a wall when we're, we're trying to explain to the devs that we don't like this system, that it doesn't, it's not that it needs to be tweaked either, okay? This system doesn't, no amount of tweaking is going to fix this system. It is inherently uh, just not good for this kind of game. It doesn't make sense. It, it, I don't know what the kind of game it is that you would call that does this kind of system. Probably somebody knows the, the word that I'm looking for, but it's not this. Scum doesn't, you know, survival games like this don't, don't use this weird, unnatural, strange, radiant AI spawning system. It just doesn't fit with the game. It doesn't make sense. But yeah, so now I'm going around, clearing the town. I'm going to clear the whole town out. And um, I'm not going to be able to. It's not going to be possible for me to clear the entire town. Because as I shoot and kill these puppets, uh, more will just be replaced. More will see there's already one back there. This is just not fun. This is not fun. There's no skill. There's no... I mean, there's skill. It's hard to kill a hundred puppets in a town. But there's no, there's just no normalcy to this. It's just very strange. It doesn't make a lot of sense to do it this way. Uh, you know, and then we got the other problems with scum right now. You get a lot of cheaters in scum. Uh, they're actually extremely rampant right now, cheating in scum. It's makes, it makes the, um, <laughs> what do you call it? Not the community servers, but it, it basically makes the regular servers unplayable. The, um... Good lord, what what are they called? <laughs> What's a regular server that's not a community server called? The official servers, there you are. That's the word I was looking for. It, it makes the official servers basically unplayable. You can't you can't play. What's going on? Oh, it's she and she's in the floor. Unless there's a downstairs I missed. Yeah, no, that puppet's just in the floor. That's fine though. That happens. It's quite normal. There's a horde. See the now the horde thing the horde thing's okay. If they gave us server owners, whoops, a little bit more control over the horde thing, it would be perfect. I'm actually a fan of the horde system. I kinda like it. But uh everything else Everything else is just kinda crap. It's not very good. It's very strange. But yeah, so if you can't come into a town like this and, and scout out the puppets and and kind of make some logical sense of your loot routes and, and going through and clearing, then it's, it's just not immersive. It's not fun. Uh, as you wander out through the town, they say I found a magazine and I left it on the table and I forgot. And I go back to the PD to go retrieve that magazine. Uh, there's a chance I've got to clear the PD a second time. Doesn't always happen, but yeah. So, you see what I'm saying? This is not good. I just don't understand this. And I've tried to mess with the controls and, and make it so that they don't respawn, and it just, it just can't be done. It just doesn't work. It doesn't respond to, uh, to the inputs that I give it. it. just doesn't respond. Oh man, I went through all those arrows already but yeah I, I hope this i hope the devs listen to us on this um we don't want this system at all we don't want it it's not good for a game like this no no other survival game you know name it daisy the forest uh escape, not escape from tarkov but j just name it name a name a survival game that's kind of uses this blueprint, this DNA, and tell me which one you have seen that uses a system like this to any kind of success. Uh, I'm, I bet you can't, because it doesn't exist. Because this system for spawning is just, it's not good. It's not good. It's boring. It's cheap. And um, it just kills the immersion. It's an absolute immersion killer. 
And it's kind of unfortunate because up until 0 0.95, uh, Scum was 100% my favorite game of all time. Like, I, hands down. Absolutely hands down. Favorite game. Holy crap, dude. Just die. So, yeah, I don't know. I kind of feel like a broken record. I puppet damage off. I feel like a broken record crying about this over and over again. But, you know, something's got to give. Or, I'm telling you, by this time next year, will you shut up? By this time next year, there there won't be a scum. There just won't be a scum. It's just, it's super frustrating. Um, so yeah, I'm probably not going to be covering scum on the channel anymore. I'm, I'm sorry for crying. I'm not really crying, but you know what I mean? I hate complaining. I really do, because it's just not me. It's not my channel. My channel's always been very upbeat and positive and having a good time and going on adventures and I can't do that anymore. And it's really frustrating. And, um, you know, it's also really frustrating is that the scum devs are, they're basically telling us that we're being crybabies. There's no problem. It's just a few people and it's not, uh, there are some people that are cool with this server, with this, with this, uh, puppet spawn system. There are some, uh, unfortunately there, you can't really, you can't really, uh, trust what they're saying because these there's a few people and I'm not going to name any names but they're very loud in the community and they're loud in the community because they've used scum to build their channels they've used scum to you know become popular on YouTube or Twitch or whatever and um and they're loyal to the game no matter what they do so you can't really use them as a metric for the success of scum. What you need to do is go read the reviews, look at the servers, see how empty the normal regular, you know, Tom, Dick and Harry servers are ignore those Chinese servers at the top of the list. Just ax those because they're garbage. They're not real servers. They're pay to win servers that are all jacked up. There's all kinds of weird stuff going on with those. Uh, you know, you just, <sighs> The game's dying. It really is. Like the, the game is dying. The numbers are artificially inflated. The the meat and potatoes, you know, regular guys that want to play this game and have fun, they're leaving it in, leaving it in flocks. They're leaving it in in flocks. And uh, now I would count myself among them. Um, I'm I'm done with scum for a while. Uh, my channel's probably going to suffer from this because most of you are here for scum. And, um, you know, that's just, that's on me. That's a decision I got to make. Like I said at the beginning of this video, uh, I play scum for fun. I don't play scum just for views. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't, I don't care about the views. Uh, well I do. That's why I have a YouTube channel, obviously, but, uh, I'm not going to try to get views by pushing myself to play a game that I don't enjoy, uh, just for the sake of views. And I don't enjoy scum, so, um, yeah, we're gonna have to stop playing scum for a while. Um, I was gonna play on my multiplayer server, but it's, but it's nighttime on there, unfortunately. But, uh, but yeah, I'll be leaving the server up, Recon Survival Island. You guys can go on there and play if you want. Uh, but you probably won't see me around much. Uh, if there's any problems, I'll, I'll address them. You know, I'm not going to just ignore the server. Server's cheap enough. I just keep it up, whatever. If you guys want to play on it, awesome. If you don't, I don't blame you. Scum's kind of, scum's kind of shit right now. <laughs> but, um, you know, we got some other videos on the way. Uh, been playing Icarus a lot, really liking that. And, um, of course we're doing the, uh, Stalker Gamma. That's a lot of fun. But yeah, I'm I'm frustrated and I'm just going to keep rambling. So I'm going to end this video here, you guys. Um, if you've enjoyed my content, enjoyed my channel, uh, you know, maybe be cool. Stick around. You know, if, if you're only here for scum and you're going to take off, I, I understand. I get it. You know, uh, I'm not going to uh, watch a content creator that doesn't play games I don't like. You know, like I don't watch uh, Call of Duty content creators because I don't play Call of Duty. I'm not interested in it. So if you're here for scum and you're going to bail... I'm, I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm just, until they fix this, I'm not playing scum anymore. I can't do it. I just can't do it. But, uh, <laughs> you know, we'll be making videos on other games. If you guys enjoy, you know, games like Icarus, games like the forest, uh, you know, Daisy, stuff like that. You, you never know what we'll be playing. Um, I'm definitely not axing the channel, just taking a break, taking a, taking a step back from scum and until they figure out who their real fans are, who their real player base is. And, and, and if they ever fix scum, if they ever 
fix the puppets. I will 100% be back. I love this game. I really want to see it do well. Um, but so far, it's just not doing. It's just not the same game. So I can't play it. I'm not interested in in what they've done with it. They they've completely changed it. And uh, and yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being fans, channel members, liking, subscribing, all that. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one, you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.